Okay. Still snowing? Uh, yep. Is someone else coming? No. Um, Anne called. Mm -hmm. Everyone else canceled because of the snow. I'm just cleaning up. So it's just us? Just me, officially. Oh. Anne asked if I could take care of the place while she checks on her dad up in Mackinac. Mm -hmm. I didn't mention you were here. No? Since you're not staying. Right. What are all those? They're mine. You can read all of those in a week? No. I always bring more than I can possibly read, including old favorites to reread, which I never get to. I just like having them around, I guess, knowing they're close by. This one's old, huh? First edition. This smells like a library to me. <laughs> How's that? Like old paper mm. and use and time. Old books, best smell in the world. How's this one? You never read it? No. But you've heard of her. Maybe Marguerite Duress? <laughs> Dura. I'm a little behind, honestly. I'm guessing not many nights at home, curled up with a book. Not many nights at home. <laughs> I find this so strange. Hmm. I see it with my students all the time. Writers who don't read. I read. Constantly. More than 140 characters at a time? I do read. Just mostly living writers. I'm good on the big guns. Eggers, Franzen, Zadie Smith, but also who's next? So yeah, I'm a little behind on some of the dead people. <laughs> but I'm committed to catching up. Nice. What do you like about this? Well, I was 19 when I first read it and totally devotional to it, so I'm not very objective. Mm -hmm. But it's the way she uses language. It's very spare, but incredibly vivid. Yeah. The way she evokes feelings of desire and, and passion and feeling inexplicably connected to another person. And what happens before words are even spoken and then after when you don't need them anymore. And I know it's a cliche, but there's something about passion in French. All well, I said, you lived in France for a long time. Did you ask him about me? I did. I wanted to know everything about you. Just from reading my book? Yeah, and I saw a picture of you. You did? Where? Your book jacket. <laughs> right. But also on Facebook. I'm not on uh, Facebook uh, anymore. I posted a photo of your class or something. Oh god, what photo? Red pants? Oh no. Actually, I look good in those oh, pants. You do. <laughs> I saw you, I thought she, she wrote that unbelievable book and she looks like that. Okay. <laughs> I looked you up, but there's basically nothing. I guess I'm the last anonymous person in my generation. <laughs> How long were you there in France? In Europe for eight. In Paris, but also Rome and Barcelona. Why did you ever come back? I went for love. And it ended. What happened? Well, he was Italian. Ooh. Very handsome. Older than me. He traveled for work, so I didn't really work. But I saw the world and learned languages and read and read and read. That sounds great. It was. So? So he just ended up not being who I thought he was. Too bad. Most of the girls I know would kill for a situation like that, all in exchange for sleeping with some Italian guy. It wasn't uh -huh. an exchange, right. it was a relationship. Uh -huh. So what then? <laughs> what, my other relationships? Yeah. Well, I don't know. A couple great guys, a couple not so great guys. What happened to the good ones? The usual, got a job in a different city, doesn't want to be too serious, or wants to be mm -hmm. too serious. And mm -hmm. Isn't it always just a little, who knows 
close and how does this ever work? <laughs> it is. So, are you with anyone now? Uh, no. Are you? Nope. So you speak Italian? Uh, si, si. Oh. Se vuoi posso parlare italiano la prossima volta che scopriamo. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, where's your new book? In my room. Why? I want to read it now. Well, you can't. Come on. No. We did what we did last night and you won't let me read your book? Nope. Why not? Too personal. <laughs> Come on, I'm sure I'll love it. It's not the point. Right, the point is you like it and everyone else can fuck off. No, the point is... <coughs> If you read it, I'll want you to like it. And I don't want to want you to like it. I want to not care. But I will. This is my problem, and then for years I've worked really hard and spent a lot of money on healthcare professionals yeah. trying to stop wanting people to like what I'm doing. Just, just do it. That's good. But I can't. I'm sure if my first book had done better, I'd feel differently, but Knowing my work is good, and never having had that response, I still care. Well, it's not like you can totally not care. I mean, everyone cares a little. I know, but it felt so important to me to be important, you know? Whatever that means. Well, to make something that everyone would think was brilliant. But a lot of people will. Now I just want to be happy. And people misunderstanding or dismissing my work made me really unhappy. So I'm not showing it to anyone right now. I am just writing what I want. No compromises, no second guesses, no hopes, no expectations. Well, okay, but you have to have some expectations or you wouldn't be writing. Sure. Maybe it'll be discovered after I'm dead. Everyone will think it's a masterpiece and feel really sorry that I wasn't celebrated in my own time. Who are you, Emily Dickinson? Good one. I'm just saying she got mixed reviews and so do I. But we're proof that you don't have to be discouraged by the asshole's response. It's not just that. What then? If something was going to happen for me, it, it would have already. Now that's just crazy. Why? Oh. People I know from school are in their third or fourth book. Some have been successful so long, they're in the comeback phase of their career. They're having a comeback, and I never got it. Because you stopped trying. I mean, Ahmed, who, when I met him at 20, had only written short stories. I convinced him to try writing a novel, and he has a Pulitzer. That doesn't mean you're not as good as he is. I know. Maybe, but there comes a time when you have to face that no matter how good you think you are, things are probably not going to work out the way you wanted. But you can't give up when you have something new to put out. Look, I don't want to compete with the 22-year-olds trying to get off square one. Trying to have my little voice heard over throngs of hundreds of millions at this point, it would just be stupid. <laughs> you don't have to think of it as competing against anyone. Isn't the world already choking on the shallow, trivial observations of millions of self-important morons? Not you. Thanks. <laughs> so why should I try and fight my way through all of that? Because unlike most of the shit that's out there, your writing is incredibly good. But what if people don't respond to this new one that I think is my best yet? What do I do then? And if it's even half as good as the one I read, it is a huge loss to the world. If people can't read it. Why are you being so nice to me? Why are you being so suspect? I just keep waiting for the asshole to show up. Mm. Well, he'll be here tomorrow. So, <laughs> if there's anything you want to do with the nice guy, we've got some time.